Well, we did it. We bullied Lizzo into retirement. Congratulations. I'm Zach of All Singer, songwriter, guitar player extraordinaire. This is Musical Hangout, the only live music experience in which we talk about other musicians who are more successful than me in a negative and sometimes positive light. Thank you so much for tuning in for however long that you were doing that. Welcome to Here It Is. I hope that you would consider liking this live stream, sharing it hither and yon, yonder to uh, appease the algorithmic gods and make me rich and famous and so that I can pretend like I don't know anybody. Thank you so much to those of you. We got some new faces around here. Uh, we are now sitting around the 430 subscriber mark. Thank you to each and every single one of you. Appreciate you sticking around and uh, helping me pass the time uh, through this weary world of ours in which you know, singers like Lizzo can body shame other people and then quit the business because people were body shaming her in return. I'm a fan of body shaming, not other people, body shaming yourself. I used to be 200, almost 200 pounds, kids, and now I'm about a buck 65 because of a little bit of diet and exercise. But of course, I do like to have a nice cold beer every once in a while. Anyways, thank you to the many, 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 many people out there who watched my little advice video sort of a guitar lesson on how to jam with other musicians. Not a topic often covered, at least with any um, degree of, I guess, I don't want to say competency because they're all very well-made lessons, but they're not as practical, I think, as mine was. And I'm a practical guy um, from everything I do, from the way I dress to the way I pick the guitar. In any case, would appreciate it if you would also, in the description box down below, follow the links to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and the like. Also, would really appreciate it even more than that, because social media is kind of overrated and only old people use it, uh, as if you would listen to the music on Apple Tunes, Amazon, Spotify, so on and so forth, and what have you. I get everything I needed to say. I don't know. I've never been good at introducing myself here. On. On YouTube. All right. We're going to do. Uh, start off with some high octane funky bluesy fun. With a tune off the new record called. Quit your talking. Here we go. Oh, do you walk? 
You're talking a little bit of that funky, bluesy fun here for your Tuesday night. That's what it's all about. Recently, I learned I don't know how to behave in a manner that is socially acceptable. I was uh, at an appointment recently, and there was a receptionist there. And she said, uh, while you're waiting... Did you want some coffee or something like that? I said, lady, it's after 10 o'clock where I come from. We don't drink coffee that late. I'll take an ice cold beer. And she said, well, maybe would you like something to eat while you're waiting? And I said, you know, my stomach is kind of rumbling. I'll take another cold beer. Currently, neither of those things are served at the oil change place. But, hey, a fella can dream. We're going to do a little bit of that Jimi Hendrix here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. A little bit of that, uh, who knows? What do I know? I'm talking about my baby. Sometimes I sing that song, sometimes I don't. It kind of just depends on if I'm feeling the guitar licks or not. Of course, now that I've had some fermented beverage, there is a chance I might burp into the microphone. And this is a uh, professionals have standards here. I'm not all about burping and farting into the microphone. That's Lizzo's thing. Ha! <laughs> Got her. All right, we'll do a thing that's inspired by a Mr. Jim Hendrix. This is also off my new album. It's called Mercury to Venus, a planetary jam for the ages. Of course, you can stream this new album, your second reminder of the night, at the link in the description below. It does take you to a couple of the most popular streaming sites. Alrighty. Mercury to Venus. <laughs> What if, I, what if I went absolutely nuts at the end of the song? And that's why I came up with the ending to that. Sometimes it's like a math problem, you know, except I'm not good at math. You know, I've given my friends and family permission to, on my, uh, my tombstone, the epitaph, I believe is what that's called. They can put, the risks he took were calculated, but boy did he suck at math. In any case, sometimes you got to add up uh, all the problems to find the solution. And with that song... I had a nice, uh, I believe what the kids call it is a chordal-based melody. So not a whole lot of uh, solo-y, solo -y stuff there. But it does have a lot of riffs and rhythm. And then I did add a solo-y, solo -y part. So I had most of the song written. 
I just needed an ending. And so I just kind of uh, decided to climb the neck there, kind of like Hendrix does towards it, the end of the song, Angel. When you're climbing up like that in a somewhat stepwise motion, I like to call it the Hendrixian climb. People who have had guitar lessons with me one-on-one -on -one know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Hey, more psychedelic fun. <coughs> song from my previous instrumental record. That record is called I Have No Strings and I Must Play. This tune is called Secret Behind the Church. I'm glad it's uh, one of the more popular tunes of mine.
behind the church. It's one of my favorite tunes to play. Very difficult, but very fun. Okay. What next? I think I kind of want to switch guitars. I'm going to do it. I get to do whatever I want to do. That's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Nope, because I said so. I always like doing this song on this guitar. Provided that it stays in tune. Mm. It'll suffice. This is a tune. Hello. This is a tune called Sweet and Salty. <laughs> Off the uh, I Have No Strings and I Must Play record.
tune called Sweet and Salty. In honor of my ex-wife. Ah. Uh. <coughs> okay. Preposterous. I know. This next tune. We're going to get a little bit existential here. It's a tune called Other Side the screen. Kids got too many screens these days. I saw a kid with an iPhone. And I don't mean like a, a middle school kid. I mean like an honest to God. He was probably like seven years old. I'm not wise to the ways of the Paw Patrol, but someday I might be. In any case, This is a tune called Other Side of the Screen. I hope you'll enjoy it. other side of the screen from my brand spank new record called imaginary songs i 
was a fun little detour of the gristle. But we're going to go back to the old Stratocaster. This guitar is with me since the very beginning. What's next? Oh, Mr. Francis. We love Mr. Francis. <coughs> Foot switch don't work to switch songs. Anyway, this is Mr. Francis. A tune from my other, uh, one of my albums. It's an instrumental album called I Have No Strings and I Must Play. I've done a few songs from it tonight already. It gives me a chance to use the Univibe again. Grounded sort of on a Hendrixy setting. So now then, it's time to, as we promise every week, to get funky like a monkey, baby. Mr. Francis. <laughs> Francis. Francis. At Pee Wee. Pee Wee's Big Adventure is worth, uh, probably my most controversial opinion of tonight, but Pee Wee's Big Adventure, always worth rewatching. 
every so often at your local Walmart, they sell the DVD. And every so often, if you live in a cool area, they'll show it at your local cinema for $7.95 matinee. What? All right. Hey, here's one we haven't done in a while. A little bit of that Wicked Game by Mr. Chris Isaac. I hope I can sing this song tonight. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I can. We'll find out.
the game, but Mr. Chris Isaac, he got his own TV show for a little bit. Um, if somebody out there in Movie Land has a link, or if somebody from Netflix, or you know what, that sounds like a Tubi thing. Tubi, if you're out there, you know I'm a fan of you, Tubi. Tubi, hit me up. I'll write you jingles. I'll appear in your advertisements. I'll pay. I'll take th Dairy Queen coupons, six dollars ninety-five cents, whatever it takes. I'm a fan of your product. In any case, maybe see if you can get the rights to the Chris Isaac show. I just gotta know. I just gotta know. I know he can act a little bit because he's in Twin Peaks, the um, Fire Walk with Me movie. Does anybody remember Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me? Weird beard movie because it's David Lynch. Oh, speaking of which, that was, uh, that was my original point. That song makes me have two, I have two memories associated with that song. The first memory, chronologically speaking, is uh, for some reason it makes me think of winter like 2006 when I was a young lad and my mom was cooking dinner like spaghetti or spaghettis as my girlfriend calls it. I tried to explain to her that spaghetti is already plural. Anyways, that's the first memory. The second memory is also circling back around to David Lynch. And that song is heavily used in the soundtrack. For Wild at Heart. Does anybody remember Wild at Heart? With Nicolas Cage, Laura Dern? Anyways. The failed spin-off of this program, Movie Hangout. Um, if anybody wants to hire me to host movies, I'll do it. Also for like six Dairy Queen coupons. Frosty from Wendy's. Anyways... Uh, where are we at? Okay. We're gonna do another blues tune. This one's a mono mine. This tune is called Zach's Blues. Because they're blues and they belong to me. The blues is spelled kind of funny in that tune if you want to look it up later on the, uh, the inner goggles. It's spelled B-L-O-O-Z-E. -E. I was never much of a speller and that gave me the blues. Math gave me the blues especially. I remember in second grade when we had to get up in front of the entire class and read the answers. You remember when they used to give you math sheets to practice your arithmetic? Did anybody else get traumatized by that? I sure did. In any case, I got up there to read my math problems. And see, the thing of this was, this is why this is why an entire generation is traumatized and on Adderall and all sorts of junk and jazz, and why a lot of us are hopelessly addicted to booze and pornography and things like that. We just need Jesus. But in any case, I got up there and because I'm bad, oh yeah. And so they would give you like a, a ding, ding, ding if your answer was right, or they would go buzz if your answer was wrong. So ding, ding means your answer's right, and buzz means it's wrong. Guess who staying? Guess who got buzzed? Almost every single answer. I think I got one right. That's right, me. So you know, in second grade, I had the blues from an early age. I remember crying in front of the entire class. But what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, to quote Roddy Piper, and I feel powerful. And then Common Core came along and now even parents are bad at math. Maybe the gods of AI and Elon Musk will save us all. Alrighty. So music is just, blues is just putting your feelings to music like it.
Blues. Zach Blues. From the instrumental record called Sounds. Dig it. Oh yeah. Now then, we got some final business to take care of. <laughs> From that same album, this is a tune called Desolation Angel key of G sharp or A flat, depending on what part of town you're from. <laughs>
Desolation Angel. Inspired, well, actually, Desolation Angel single, singular, excuse me, from my album called Sounds Inspired by the Beat Poet Jack Kerouac because I'm a hippie at heart. If you go back in my discography, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Zach Ball, singer, songwriter, guitar player extraordinaire. This has been Musical Hangout. Yes, live every Tuesday night, except for the nights that I'm not. If you missed this, fret not. You can watch it again at a later occasion, but at this particular juncture in time, we were live on the 2nd of April in the year of our Lord, 2024, on a nice early spring day. Can thou dig it? But fear not if you did miss it and you don't want to watch it later and you do want to catch it live. I will be back next week on, mathematically speaking, seven days later, the 9th. Look to my coming on the 7th day, which would be seven days from now, the 9th of April, for those of you keeping track where we will be doing it all again, different songs, different guitars, different outfit, different jokes, but the experience is the same. Musical Hangout, 6 p.m. Pacific. I hope you join me. I would hope that you would like this stream. Consider subscribing for more things like this and guitar lessons, things of that nature, maybe listening to the records. Maybe you like the song that you heard tonight. Track it down on the recorded version. Maybe you hated a song and want to redeem your, maybe see if I can redeem myself on the recorded version. Click the link down below to be whisked away to Spotify land, Apple land, music land, all the streaming services that have ruined the music industry for young up-and-comers such as myself, Zach Vall, singer, songwriter, guitar player, signing off, reminding you of the wise words of King Solomon on work. Whatever thy hand findest to do, King Solomon said, do thy dog gondest. Bread is bread, cheese is cheese. Praise God. Uh, we haven't done a divorce joke in a while, so a man is looking for a divorce lawyer, and he finds one, and he asks, how much do you charge? And the lawyer says, $1,000 for three questions. And then the man says, well, $1,000 for three questions, isn't that a bit steep? And the lawyer says, yes. Now, what's your third question? All right, we'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>